हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द हेल्थ केयर टुडे टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्पीक अबाउट ब्रोंकोस्कोपी सो ब्रोंकोस्कोपी इज अ टाइप ऑफ टेस्ट व्हिच इज वेयर वी इंसर्ट ये स्मॉल ट्यूब व्हिच हैज अ कैमरा एंड लाइट सोर्स इनटू द एयरवे जस्ट लाइक एंडोस्कोपी एंडोस्कोपी इज यूज्ड टू इंस्पेक्ट योर फूड पाइप एंड स्टोमक एंड इंटेस्टाइन सिमिलरली ब्रोंकोस्कोपी इज यूज्ड टू इंस्पेक्ट योर अपर एयरवे एंड लोअर एयरवे वेर यू कैन एंटर इन टू द डीपर पार्ट्स ऑफ द लंग एंड सी वेदर देर इज एनी अबनॉर्मलिटी और नॉट नाउ वाई डू वी डू इट वी हैव टू इंडिकेशन ऑफ ब्रोंकोस्कोपी विच इज वन इज डायग्नोस्टिक ब्रोंकोस्कोपी वन ब्रोंकोस्कोपी वन इज थेरापटिक ब्रोंकोस्कोपी डायग्नोस्टिक ब्रोंकोस्कोपी इज वेर यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज द प्रिंसिपल सोर्स ऑफ दिस इन्फेक्शन फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ ए पेशेंट इज हैविंग निमोनिया so you do a bronchoscopy to identify what is the pathological agent involved so that you know which is the antibiotic which is suitable for this organism and many times when you suspect tb in a patient the sputum test is initially negative you send it for two uh, send it two times it is still negative then you ask the patient to come for bronchoscopy so by doing bronchoscopy it is better that we visualize the area better and we collect the sample from the abnormal area right away there is no chances of contamination anywhere and there are other indications like hemoptysis where you have bleed you see where is the source of bleed coming from and you try to stop it it is both diagnostic and therapeutic bronchoscopy in case of hemoptysis and in case of tumors for example there is an endobronchial tumor where you need to completely resect the tumor to give patients better breath then you can do a debulking where you can remove the entire tumor which is present in the airway now bronchoscopy over a period of time has evolved into multiple smaller thing multiple other things these days we use bronchoscopy to extract clots these days we use bronchoscopy even to remove mucus which is impacted in the lung so there are multiple therapeutic and diagnostic indications and one such modification of bronchoscopy is endobronchial ultrasound where you can sample sample the mediastinal lymph nodes as well so in case of bronchoscopy when you are planned for bronchoscopy what do you do there are two types of anesthesia we we use to make the patient comfortable because patient is simultaneously breathing while you are doing the bronchoscopy so if the patient is very cooperative because we can understand whether the patient is apprehensive or not if the patient is not apprehensive and very cooperative we use local anesthesia we use a nasal gel whereby the nasal epithelium is anesthetized and we use a spray in the throat where the upper airway is desensitized and we put in a camera and we go go into the windpipe and see and complete the bronchoscopy within 5 to 7 minutes in case the patient is very apprehensive what we use is something called minimum sedation the patient is sedated to extent which is required and we perform the procedure in 5 to 7 minutes once the procedure is done we are, we bring the bring the patient back to his senses so that there will be no discomfort noticed in the patient so bronchoscopy is very safe to use it doesn't ca- carry much of an expenses and it is very easy to diagnose the lung problem in short time with the advent of bronchoscopy the field of pulmonology has changed in numerous ways we care about you